Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the content delivery track. Um, really excited to get underway today. Our first speaker is gonna be Zach Hoffman and he's gonna talk about a test harness for traffic router. Uh, take it away, Zach. Okay, let's see. Um, screen. All right. Um, hey, hey everyone, um, my, my name is Zach Hoffman. I have been um, a committer for Apache Traffic Control for about a year now. Um, and um, the most recent project that I've been working on is, um, uh, is um, load tests for traffic router. Um, it, 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 in order to verify it, that our tra traffic riders are, are performing. So uh, to talk a little bit about that. Um, so um, let's just say that um, you, you don't have anything um, to, to work with. Let, let's say that um, you, you don't know um, how quickly your traffic riders are, um, are responding to your requests. You, you know, is it fast enough? Um, is it not, um, you, you don't know um, if IPv4 is fast or slow, um, the same for IPv6. And then um, let's say uh, you're running an old version of Apache Traffic Control, like um, uh, Traffic Control 3.1.0, um, and you want to know if I upgrade this to Traffic control 4.0, which is uh, which is also pretty old at this point. Um, is it, is this going to mean a performance hit for me? And so for any of those questions, um, it, it's it, it'll be really nice to um, to be able to run tests to see um, exactly how fast your CDN is. Um, so what, what I've done is I've, um, is I've rewritten a tool, um, that was, <clears throat> that was, um, originally intern internal to Comcast, um, big shout out to Jeff Elslow for, um, writing, um, the Perl implementation, um, of what was originally called the traffic writer, um, a test harness. Um, my, my rewrite is in Golink, and it's a significant uh, performance improvement. So, um, so, so yeah, but, but um, as far as, as what it, it accomplishes, um, it, it, it doesn't have any predetermined data set. Um, you, you just give it the URL, um, a traffic ops instance, you and give it credentials to that traffic ops instance. And if you don't specify anything any further, then, then it's just going to um, go through your delivery services and run load tests against them with, um, with your predetermined thresholds. Um, that being said, you, you can adjust all of that. Um, you, you can, um, you, you can decide, um, well, I actually want it to, to be um, more uh, requests per second um, or, or fewer, or maybe um, you're, you're not quite as ambitious. I, I don't think that my CDN is quite um, ready to handle um, this many uh, requests per second. Um, but uh, w but one, uh, one really nice thing about this is keep in mind that this is only um, requests to our traffic routers. We're not following any redirects to edges or, or anything. And so because of that, um, the, the actual um, distance between say um, you and um, edges that um, traffic router it, it, um, has geolocated that you are close to um, th that that doesn't actually affect it. Um, it simplifies the problem quite a bit. Um, now, um, now, uh, um, anyway, 
uh, yeah, l l l let's see. Um, th and then um, w w one other thing to, to mention is that because uh, Traffic Router um, supports a couple um, ways of geolocating, um, that is um, with the MaxMind database, um, there's a, there, there is, um, there, there's still legacy code in Traffic Router for new star geolocating, but it hasn't worked for quite a while. But um, it's a challenge for anyone who wants to get it working. It's, it's out there. Uh, you j just uh, um, j just uh, need to um, figure out um, when it stops working um, and where it, and where the MAFE independency is because um, th th that's also non-existent at this point. But the uh, but the other way that it, that um, that that um, traffic writer will do it is with um, the coverage zone file. Um, th that is, um, it, it it contains um, a file. Oh, um, with um, with with a bunch of different um, IP addresses. So um, on on your CDN, um, I, I imagine that there's. Um, um, th th that there's many different um, IP addresses in the um, network in six section and network four. Um, see, um, since I'm using a CDN in a box, there's only one cache group here, um, but there's coordinates here that it corresponds to it. Um, in, um, in a production uh, uh, Apache traffic control content delivery network, you would have um, far more uh, cache groups um, and uh, and um, more sub uh, subnet here of IP v IPv4 and IPv6 um, variety. The idea in being that um, if a, a client makes a request to the traffic router, um, th that that is um, within that subnet. Um, then it'll say, oh, hey, um, uh, th th I should send, um, I should send this, um, this user to this cache group um, that it's a part of. Um, and so, and so nat naturally the larger um, coverage zone file you have, um, the, the better, but, uh, but that's the basic gist of it. Um, yeah, so so that's the the other way that that um, traffic writer will um, will um, handle um, will, will handle writing um, besides geolocating using MaxMind. Um, let's see, um, what, one other feature that um, that I take advantage of here, and and we can. Um, we can demonstrate this is that um, traffic router allows you to set um, a special header um, that that is um, let's see I guess I'll just um, put it right here the um, x hyphen mm standing for maxmind hyphen client hyphen IP address but if you set this to um, Whatever IP address that you want, um, Traffic Router is going to use that IP address uh, for geolocating, and that's really useful um, for um, for um, testing rerouting you to um, a specific location in your uh, your um, coverage zone map, um, testing that you're sent to the right places. Um, Let's see. Um, yeah. So, um, with with all of that said, um, let's let's give the, let's um, give this a try. So here, I have a CD in a box um, running it locally, and for anyone who's um, uh, not familiar with all this shop talk, um, CDN in a box 
is um, is uh, our demo um, instance of Apache traffic and traffic control that that we keep um, in infrastructure in CD in a box, but um, it, it's all dockerized and. The idea is that it's uh, very easy to set up once you build the RPMs. Um, it, th that being said, it's a little bit bare bent, but l let me just show you what we have to work with here. Um, so first, we, uh, we only have one CDN that we're calling CDN in a box. Um, we have, um, ooh, which, um, uh, we 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 have um, four different uh, four different in cache groups, uh, only three of which actually belong into caches, and um, uh, only uh, one of which contain um, edge caches. Now that edge cache group only um, contains one edge cache, but um, that that's not going to affect this. Um, no, not so much. Um, well, let's see. Yes. So, it, and and then um, here we go. Uh, no, wrong. Um, where did my? Um, yeah. And then uh, it enable localization methods. You can decide this here, and then um, and then take a snapshot. And if you if you have it set up correctly, then um, you'll actually be able to use it. So that's what I, I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be um, sending requests. Let me show um, you our HTTP delivery service. Um, and, and right now, um, it, it only supports um, H, um, HTTP, it's not HTTPS, um, but but uh, uh, we're just going to be doing this uh, um, a, a lot of times. Um, see, when uh, when I curl um, this delivery service, then we get a redirect here. And then it naturally, um, if we add a path and that path can be anything, then it'll redirect you to that path. And remember, since we're not following the redirects, um, it's not a problem that um, the anything path does not actually exist on the origin. Um, uh, we're, we're just going to send um, a bunch of different paths and um, you'll be able to see uh, how, how that affects the performance. So, so yeah, we, we've got the um, the video delivery service that is um, in the CDN in a box CDN um, that using um, using a relatively new feature of Apache traffic control flexible topologies um, uh, it, it is is going to route users to caches in the CDN in a box, uh, um, to in caches in the CDN in a box edge cache group. Um, and we're just going to try to measure um, how quickly it does that. So, so here in, this, in the CDN in a box um, directory, but let's just, um, uh, let, let's just um, run it without changing anything first. So, so you can um, see what it does. So, so we, we have the second um, Docker Compose file. Um, here, let me just write this out explicitly. Um, um, Compose.yaml, and then also Docker Compose.traffic router load tests.yaml. Um, we're just going to say up um, load tests. All right, and let's just uh, um, and then I'll, I'll also um, for aligning the columns. Let's say um, 
we, we don't want um, any any prefix. How do we? Oh, that's that's right. Um, it, no log prefix. Okay, let's just see what it does. Um, and um, it, uh, normally you'd want these tests to, to run for like five minutes, but I've shortened it here to only ten seconds for demonstration purposes. Um, oh, right. Okay. Um, see so if I can post uh, then. Uh, also, optional document because that static subnet. Okay, just because um, I we're using IPv6 and that static subnet is what lets us do that. So here it goes. Um, so we need to route at least 8,000 requests per second from our traffic route. That's the goal. Um, let's make this a little smaller. Um, uh, yeah. So it, it um, so it passed with uh, with IP in V four. Um, we we had eighty eight thousand eight hundred seventy seven requests per second, um, and um, and when it says it redirects versus failures, um, a failure is anything other than um, a three hundred level status code. We, we, we want um, 301 and 302, obviously, um, but, um, but, but but yeah, it, if it throws anything 500 level at you, then it will count it up in the failures column instead, like count toward your redirects. Um, it, 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 and of course, um, there were far more redirects that, that, that took place in this amount of time, um, but, but this is just per second. Notice that it was slower on over IPv6. Um, while it's true that um, this is running locally in Docker, um, and so you wouldn't expect um, these results to, to mimic um, a CDN running on bare metal. Um, th uh, th th this is also the result that, um, that I found when um, when running uh, against a content delivery network with actual servers was that IPv6 was just a little bit slower. Uh, yeah, and so, uh, so it gives you that information. Notice that um, here, it, it only um, tells you about the traffic router. Um, if you have more than one, it, and that's just the name of the um, the service in CDN in a box. If you did have more than one traffic router, then it would be the same thing for each of them. But um, now let's go in and, and see what all we can do with this. Okay, so we've got this. There's a bunch of different options up here. Okay, so what if um, I don't care about IP, IP abuse? Or what if I only care about IPv6? Then I can pass the six flag, and it, it'll only run and test for IPv6. Uh, while, while that's running, let's go back up here. Um, if if you only want to look at traffic routers um, for a particular CDN, then you can name that CDN here. Um, that's a little trivial here since uh, since we only have one CDN to work with. Um, you you can um, you, you can um, specify whether you want to use um, a coverage zone for localization, and unfortunately, <clears throat> that uh, that that wasn't that that wasn't working for me here, uh, not in this container at least. Uh, we can still get it to work, but that'll require um, running the test from a different container. Um, but let's see, uh, other features. Yeah, so you can specify a specific traffic router if you don't want to loop it through all of them. That feature that I mentioned, um, uh, telling traffic router, well, actually my IP address is this, and of course it sends you the response to the correct IP address, but for localization, it's going to 
use whatever IP address you give it there. Um, uh, and, and then um, this, this is really key right here, Max, um, th these paths is that it's generating. So let's, um, and so I'm just going to pause this for a second. Okay. Um, uh, oh, right. Um, th th so while it's, do um, while it's doing this, um, th there's all of these randomly generated paths here. Um, and by default, that's going to be um, between zero and 100 characters, um, non-inclusive. And um, that really does affect the performance. Um, there's a, let's see, it's in, um, I accidentally, um, let's just cut it down a, um, a, a little bit so that it's not running as long. I forgot this con this container has been running well. Um, well. Let's see. So, bench time, um, benchmark time here. Okay. So, we, um, we're going to make that only 10 seconds again, then do that, do that six again. But, um, but, but yeah, let's say, um, let's say there's only one path um, and then the max path length is like only one. Okay. So, it, so it says um, it requests um, 2000 per second, but we're going to say path count is only one path and then, um, and then max, uh, max path length, um, let's say that's also one, okay. And, um, and notice that it's significantly faster with that. Um, there's, the, the more paths that you add, um, the, the um, uh, traffic router is just going to need to use um, a bit more resources for that. Um, and traffic router is very efficient at, at doing that, but um, that's just something that you can play around with it there and um, see how that affects, you, affects your performance. Um, and, then, and then of course, like, like we were talking about, Let's see, all, none of these are passing it right now, right? Because we're talking about like 8,000 requests per second and you can only, you can set it to like 3,000 and then that should work. Um, let's see. And then of course you can specify, um, I only want to test um, this specific delivery service. Um, Okay, and uh, and yeah, it, it does that. But um, but now let's go to um, um, yeah. I I I, I want to try to um, run that uh, that that uh, cover zone um, a file test. So. Uh, we, we can run it from like right here. The problem is just that that um, this server has um, uh, we we don't have its its certificate, and I have and I haven't um, added something into the test yet. Um, to, to say, oh, we'll just ignore that certificate. But what we can do um, is go into another container. It's also running. Whoops. Uh, 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 it's just free snap under here. Okay. Uh, 
Um, okay, and the certificate works just fine here. So, um, uh, test, test over here, and then, uh, th then we can just say, um, so yeah, enable equals zero, um, go test, uh, compile, and then, thinking really hard about this. It's not frozen. Okay. And then our container here, um, that, that's just going to be, um, yeah, that's, that's so slow. Um, the container ID, and then we'll just copy a, a copy in the um, in the in the test file into this directory that we're at, at right here, and just up over here. Um, and oh, let's see. Then. Doing this, and that's uh, and that's just going to set environment variables. Um, it, it, actually, let, um, because um, otherwise you would need setup. Um, I'm not going to to do this. Pretend I, I didn't do that. So going in here, if you were to um, if you were to go and just um, try to run it, it would complain. Um, it would say the TO URL environment variable is missing. And so I'll say the traffic ops URL is um, traffic ops.infra.cdnobox.test. Try to run it again. I'll say yes, but it needs the user. Um, and so you can set that uh, as well. User is admin in this case. And then it, finally, it needs the password. Um, Pass word equals twelve, and that's a design decision there that you don't pass uh, credentials on the command line. But but anyway, um, we've got that, and let's try to make it do the coverage zone, um, the, the in coverage zone thing, you know. Uh, this is a little misaligned. Um, I think it. Uh, I think it's uh, saying 950 requests per second, um, then uh, 9,508 redirects total, and is your failures. Um, th there he goes. Um, more like that. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, what, what 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 it's doing here is um, it's got. I, I guess we can just um, open it up here. Uh, let's see, CZ uh, static dot uh, info dot in box dot test slash, um, and then CZ. Um, CZ map, yeah, CZ map. Um, it's, it's just going out and, and grabbing this file. The, the reason that it knows to grab this file, um, it's it's finding that traffic writer, right? So um, so it, so I'm just going through the steps. Oh yes, um, okay, so. Um, but but uh, but yeah, you've got the um, 
the traffic router server. And it's going to be a specific, a specific um, CDN. So for that CDN, we can just look at the snapshot of an API and um, uh, as soon as Apache Traffic Control version four is released, we're going to be on API version four CDN, and then the, the name of our CDN, CDN in a box, then snapshot. And in the snapshot, one of the parameters that's set is the coverage then dot polling dot URL parameter, um, which gives you the URL of that. And so that's how it, it knows where to get that. Um, because um, Traffic Rider is going to use that as well, um, as well as um, the, the maximum stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, there's, let's see, uh, another observation that I had while doing this um, is that is that if you increase the threads a lot, so let's say thread, the, the number of threads to use for each test. So, um, so uh, let's say instead of 12 threads, we say like 500, okay. And before we saw zero failures, right? Um, but as soon as we do that, uh, not seeing any requests right now, dude. Okay, well, A500 was a little much. Um, let's say like 100. Well, um, th 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 there's that, um, th there's that curse, unfortunately. Um, I, I'm having a, having a, um, a hard time reproducing it, but what I found was that if you increase the threads high enough, it sends um, th then it sends it so many requests that you do end up getting failures, which is um, which if it's a, an issue on the side of the traffic router is something that um, that you that you'd want to to look at for your resources and maybe some and maybe something to address um, in the project itself there's okay there's uh, it's kind of doing it so let's try going back to five hundred. Yeah, I still can't do that, unfortunately. But um, yeah, there, there, there's going to be a blueprint. And um, if that's accepted, then um, it, you'll be able to um, play around with this yourself and see if you can find any idiosyncrasies in your, um, your own setup um, that maybe you wouldn't notice otherwise. Um, yeah. So uh, let's see. Um, does anyone have any questions so far? I don't see any in the chat, Zach. Oh, OK. Do you have a question? Reminder, you have 
you have five minutes. Mm -hmm. Let, let's see. Well, um, this is about uh, where where it is at this point. Let, let, let me see. Um, I I guess uh, there's uh, there's there's some trivial flags that we can still show up. Oh, for threads, are those Go routines? Says Taylor. Um, yes, y yes, they are. So here, let me um, try to make my IDE, IDE window a little bit bigger um, so that you can actually see the text. Uh, you know, uh, 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 says, font says, font says. Uh, then as soon as it reloads. OK, there it goes. So um, let's say it says 18. This is really punishing my computer. Um, so, uh, so, so yeah, um, you, you, here, here we've got um, the the test itself, right? And so, um, and so um, when it's um, spawning a thread uh, for when it's spawning a thread, it's got this right here, this benchmark dot run, um, it, and this is all inside this loop of um, it, it loops per traffic router, and then for each address, then uh, of course if you've um, already um, filtered out, uh, if you said I don't want IPv4 or IPv6, that's something that um, th that it's going to um, filter out earlier, so you can trust whatever um, array you've got there. But the Go routine, yeah, you, you've got um, so so it goes and runs this, um, and and then it generates the path um, and. It generates a different um, a different set of paths for um, if, for each go routine. Um, there is a which uh, should have the should have the effect of traffic router, and not just like having one set of, of paths to deal with. But but let's see. Yeah, it, there is a set of that user agent over here. So that you, so that you know that someone's dosing your CDN, and um, yeah, uh, go routine. Um, let, let, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll 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 try to put this code a code out here um, so that people can can um, start poking around it if they're interested. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, Th there is, um, does anyone else have a question? I don't see any more and we are almost out of time. Mm -hmm. So if you, okay. have, if you have one, ask it in the next minute, 10 seconds. Oh, we're, we're, we're seeing very kind words in chat. Thank you very much, Taylor and, and Jeremy and, and Srijit. Um, yeah, well, um, so, well, I, I, anyway, th thanks for, uh, th th thanks for uh, taking a look at uh, what we've got here for, for, um, for the, for the um, traffic rider load tests. Yep. Thank you, Zach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, guys.